everybody, welcome to the Deep Dive Show. We're very, very excited to have you guys here and we're back with another power-packed episode. Our goal with this show is to bring you and I in proximity to the people and ideas that will show us that it is possible and eventually help us achieve on our dreams and goals. Today we have a special guest, he's in the media space and we're going to have a powerful episode. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, help me in welcoming Raymond Actually, offense, Raymond Mapena. Welcome to the show, my man. Yeah, thank you so much for having me, Paul. Era. So yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, so let's start here. Just take us through an, a bit of an elevator pitch about who you are and, our, and what it is that you do. Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is uh, Offense Raymond Mapena, like Paul has already mentioned. I'm a social media marketer, a photographer at Ringups Media, a company which provides digital media marketing services, photography, videography, and other media related services. I'm also a fan of the Amoko Development Program. The Amoko Development Program, what it does is that we are focusing mostly on the youth. We want to help the youth discover themselves. So we talk mostly about purpose. Mm-hmm. So that is, yeah, that's basically about, about mm-hmm. youth. So you, you don't sell merchandise? Yeah, <laughs> no, I don't sell merchandise yet. Beautiful, yet. beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's talk about that um, because I, I looked through your your seminars and I, I, I ran through your content and I thought this is something pretty interesting. Uh, purpose is something that we all know um, in the depth of ourselves that we do have, mm-hmm. but not a lot of us have really figured out or discovered our purpose. Yeah. So can you kindly walk us through maybe a step-by-step process on how you help people discover their purpose? But first, maybe you can tell us what purpose is actually, and then kind of tell us how to find that out. Okay, so like purpose is, is the intent of which God created you. The reason why you are here. And like I always say, most of the time people people are people are frustrated and poor. Mm-hmm. People that are doing jobs, people are like you find that a lawyer, someone is a lawyer, he's any good money and stuff mm-hmm. like that. But then the person is frustrated because they're doing something that God didn't want, doesn't want them to do. Mm-hmm. There's an there's a, an, an idea that God had in mind when He created you, and He wants you to find that. So if you, as long as you're not doing it, you're still going to be frustrated. For example, we see like uh, with celebrities, for example, that they're getting good money, but some of them we find that even though that they have those monies, they're still not yet happy on the inside. So purpose when you discover it, it brings about fulfillment inside of you. You become sure. fulfilled. And one thing that is very interesting about it is that you become sure, you become you become motivated. When you wake up in the morning, you know that I'm going to fulfill what God wants me to do. You are motivated about that. Yes, sir. Yes. So the, 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 the true is that I like speaking about in which people can discover their purpose. It is through their gift and their passion. Gift is, is basically something that you are something that you are good at. Yeah. We know of Cristiano Ronaldo. We know what happens when you take a football and you place it in front of him. You know what happens in the field. Mm. You know what, the, what that guy does. Yeah. We know of Lionel Messi. We know of other people. You know, great singers out there. Mm. So those people, they discover something that they they they, they can literally you know die for something that even when you take a gun and you point them point at them and say you know I want you to stop doing this thing. They would prefer to die than stop doing that thing. Mm-hmm. That so, is what purpose does. So what you're saying is, <clears throat> if I try to kind of digest a bit what you said, mm. um, um, the way we try to find it out is by using our own God-given gifts and talent. Yes, God-given gifts and talents, mm-hmm. yes. So by that meaning, um, something that easily comes, something that I do that easily comes, I get something mm. that I can easily do, yeah, yes. um, which is my gift. Yeah, it's a gift. Okay. Yeah. What's the other way you, you, you show people how okay, to discover? Okay, the, the other way that I, that, I, that I always talk about is through passion. Something that you are passionate about. The reason why I said, I gave an example of like, when you wake up in the morning and you go to work, you go to work on your purpose, you are excited about it. Something that you are excited about, that you are happy, something that when you do, joy overflows from within you. Mm-hmm. So that is something that you are passionate about. Yeah. So you just have to sit down and you think of your gift one and you think of something that you are passionate about. Mm-hmm. So basically what I do is that I feed people with content. Mm-hmm. Content that is purpose related. I always tell people that you know, it's always good for you to sit down and because since we say purpose comes from God, that mm-hmm. means God has to speak to you and tell you, you know what, Raymond, this is what I want you to do. Mm-hmm. So I always tell people that by the time when we are trying to discover your purpose, it has to be because most of the time God speaks to us in a, you know, in a, in a, in a quiet place. You need something that is quiet and at the same time you need to be feeding yourself with content that is going to help you discover your purpose. Because, mm-hmm. yes, okay, so sorry about that. And by the time that I discovered my purpose, I remember I only discovered my purpose recently. Mm-hmm. 
that it was, it was during the time of the lockdown. All mm -hmm. along, I knew inside of me that, you know what, God wants me to be great and God wants me to do something, but I didn't know about it. But up until I sat down and I, I was in a car, I was alone by that time during the time of the lockdown. I didn't have any, you know, any distraction whatsoever. That is when God spoke to me that, Raymond, I want you to do this. Mm -hmm. And immediately after that, well, when it comes to your purpose, it, it comes with so much power and motivation inside of you. I didn't even wait. I, I think it was, it was two days after, you know, when God told me that I want you to go and speak spirit to the people, you know, to speak uh, life to people. What I did that I was, I was just in my room. I just took a cloth and I took uh, a camera. I had a small camera. I took, and, took it and started shoot, shooting videos and I put, put them on my YouTube channel. But what do you say to people who don't believe in God? About they say and they want to discover their purpose. How do you help them? Um, okay, okay, okay. No, I'm sorry about that. I only know about God. Okay. <laughs> that way I don't know All right. about that was, that was yeah. a very straightforward answer. Yeah. So moving moving from purpose, you went on to discover um so you moved from something that God told you to do, right? Mm -hmm. Um so this was kind of what he whispered to you or you had a dream or a vision or some kind of calling you felt that it called you oh okay so like like, like i was saying you have to first you have to understand what purpose is mm -hmm. i started first by understanding what purpose is and ways in which i can discover i can discover my purpose mm -hmm. so during that time when i was feeding myself with that kind of content it was a time that i was also speaking to god that my god okay. i want you to reveal to me what my purpose so you're praying. is yes i was praying about right. it so when it came to me it came it just came with you know, those ways that I spoke about, and it came with assurance inside of me. Yeah. So God, I, I believe, personally, I believe God works with assurance. When he speaks to you about something, he puts inside of you assurance about it. Yes, sir. We're going to pause here for a break, and we'll be back with Raymond Mabain. Welcome back everybody to the Deep Dive Show. We're here with Raymond Mapena. Before the break, we talked about purpose, how to discover it, um, and you know, how to really live in your purpose, right? Yeah. Um, now I want, to, I want us to talk about your business, right? I want to talk about the media company, Raymaps. Um, how you do photography, you do videography, you do live streaming. Um, how do you... Because I know a lot of photographers, videographers, how do you take this and turn it into a business? Because a lot of people, um, a lot of, a lot of, I know a lot of, um, so to speak, creators who would do this, but not as a business, mm -hmm. right? How do you now make yours into a business? How do you qualify it into, into it becoming a business now? Something that is sustaining, that is sustainable for you and, you know, can take you far down the, down the road. Oh, okay. So about Renaps Media, I, I had a vision about it. I had a vision about like a long term vision about it, how I want it to be. Mm -hmm. So I want I want something like you know, the vision that I have for it is that I want the best media company here, first in Africa and then across the world. I imagine though right now it's still a small company, but I imagine it's as something that is big. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want, you know, something to do like other people like they do. They only take it as something, you know, uh, free, freelancing, they freelance, yeah, they get yeah, money. Yeah. And, you know, use the money and then that's yeah. it. So now I wanted to build something that is going to be you, something that is going to make an impact like in the internet space. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah, so so yeah. So you so you it started with you having that vision for it. For it, So yes. that you believe it's really what's making it what it is. Yeah. So talk to us about how you charge. How do you develop how do you develop charges for photography, for videography, for live streaming, for all the other um, details of your business. How do you develop charges for that? Okay, so like what I believe in is providing value to the people. Mm -hmm. So, for example, like when I started, I only had one camera about photography. I only had one camera, and by that time, I was spending a small amount of money because I didn't even have lights or anything. Mm -hmm. So, by the time when I started purchasing new equipment and stuff, I could see that I'm, I'm, I'm having an improvement in the way that I take photos. Right. There's an improvement. So, that is how I, I increase my charges. Even social media marketing, the news that I have, I just look at the value that I provide to the customers. So just, let's say, for example, you employee come to me with your company. If you're really satisfied about it, my price is going to be based on the satisfaction that you have as my customer. All right. So, yeah. so it moves with how you grow, how your, I grow. your company. Yes. All right. So as a, as a, as a, as a say, Gilempo, I want to start, uh, I want to do, I want to, I want to, I want to have a media company too. 
right? Or maybe not necessarily what you're doing, but something maybe along those lines, right? Where do I start? Where do I get clients? Mm. First of all, where do I look for them, right? Mm. How do I go get? How do I get clients mm. um, for for live streaming? How do I get clients for videography? How do I get clients for mm. photography? Mm. How do I get clients for all that mm. plethora of services that you provide? Oh, okay. So one thing that I have to say that I have to admit is that most most in the in the digital space. People they haven't yet embraced this thing of you know social media marketing, digital marketing. In in Botswana, especially, it's still growing. People they still believe in traditional marketing, you know, the flyers and stuff like that. Mm. So I, I I must say to you that you're not going to get customers on the on the first go. Mm -hmm. I'm someone who so much believes in starting. I believe in mm -hmm. starting small. Like I said, the first thing that I did is that I only started with photography. Mm -hmm. And that is how I grew. People kept on saying to me, okay. How were so you able to get those photography clients that you, that you got in the, the first photography period? clients. Was it like maybe you started with a network of your friends and family? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what I did. I also okay. got models and then I took pictures of them. I put it on my Facebook page and Instagram. And that's okay. how I got the clients. But then as time went by, now moving into graphic design and other services, that is when I, because I started small, people started getting to know about me. There is Raymond. Mm -hmm. So, since they knew that I was doing photography, me introducing, you know, social media marketing to them, they already trusted me that you know this guy we have worked with him before. Yes. So starting small is something that I can say. Start small, start with what you have, and the next time goes by, you're going to get uh, the other plans for other services that you provide. Right. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, I like the way you put that. Start small and keep going, right? Yeah. Um, you 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 are you also into social media marketing, right? Mm, yes. Um, how how was that? How did you choose that to become part of your business? To become part of yes. Business. In terms of um, um, for example, I would say in a business setup, right? Mm. If you are doing photography, you're doing videography, you're doing live stream, that already feels like a lot to do, mm. right? Um, and then when you add another service to your business, is it because you you saw the need? Or you saw the potential down the road, as in what the market would need, maybe in four, five, ten years. Oh, okay. Yes. How would? Why? Why would you? Why? Um. Why would you? Um. Maybe include another service into your company. Mm -hmm. Like, what's the procedure of how you add another service? For example, maybe if you start doing, um. Maybe let's say you start doing short skits now, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Why would you go and start doing short skits? Oh, okay. uh, how, how? What is your? What is your your framework of thinking? To be able to include a new service into your company. Oh, okay. Mm. So, like, what I try to do is that I try as much as possible to, to, to introduce, you know, related services. So, for me, providing social media marketing service to someone, I need photography, I need videography, I need those things. All of them, they, 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 they come together and they make social media marketing. Yeah. So that is how I came up with that. And me, and for it, like being, it's not easy for me to do it. So what I do is that I always try to build a team of people. I have a team of people that I'm working with. Mm -hmm. So me doing social media marketing, that people are helping me with that. Yeah. Photography also, videography, and other the media related services that I do. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. We're gonna pause here, and we'll be back with Raymond Mabena. Welcome back, everybody. We're here with Raymond Mabena. Um, we talked before the break that as you started including more services into your business, mm. um, you, you started hiring more, right? Mm. So talk to me about your hiring process. What are you looking for when you hire somebody? Mm. Maybe apart from them being able to do the job very well, what do you look for? Oh, okay. So the people that I work with, most of them are the people that are close to me. So what I do is that most of the time I do it because since Rima Smita, it was, it was still a growing company. So that, let me just say it's a startup. Mm -hmm. So what I do is that most of the time when I work with people, I share with them the vision of the company. Mm -hmm. So people, when you work with them and then you share with them the vision and they believe and you make sure that they understand it and they believe in it, they can even go to a, to a point where by you don't even have to pay them. They just do those services for free. So when I see that, okay, I'm with him for right now, I'm explaining to them, you know, this vision of the company, that DreamX Media, this is where I want to go, this is what I want to do. Yeah. And I see that you're really passionate and you believe in that vision. Mm. That is how I get the people. Because vision to me is very important to a company. A company without a vision, I just believe just, it's not even a company, just a short term thing that you're going to have, that yeah. you have. It's just a it's side a hustle. Yeah, it's, a it's just a side yeah. hustle. So what, what I do is that I explain, before I just, I, I even get someone on board, mm. I explain to them the vision of the company, this is where Remax Media is, is going. And as time goes by, I look at their passion, how they're working, and that is how I get to compensate them. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Well put. Now, 
um, you've been in the space for a bit, for mm. some time, for a few years now, right? Yeah. Um, talk to me about some of the biggest business lessons that you have acquired along the way, because I mean, it's very challenging, and in those challenges, you learn lessons. So maybe you can you can give me one or two of the most solid lessons today that you 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 have really learned from um, going in the in and out of mm. this business. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the the. The best that I can give, you know, about this is that there are so many, there are so many people out there with many ideas. People have ideas, most people the youth. Mm -hmm. But then the challenge that you have is that the youth they are afraid to start. Mm. Now, you you find that someone can say to you, okay, I want to start. Um, let me just say, um, with collection company, mm -hmm. but I don't have a truck. I'm waiting for SIDA, I'm waiting for the YGF to fund me. Mm. So what I always say is that why don't you just ask more? They can, they, there's always something that you can do before you get funded. Yeah. Because those institutions, most of them, they find you, they find you because they see that you, you know, you have released that, yeah. yes, mm. you have released that, that, that thing and you believe in it. Mm. So I always believe in starting small. That is how I start my attempts. Mm. The Tiamuko, that is how I started. I started it small and it grew as time went by and the Remix Media also, that is how I started it. Mm. So make sure that in the process of you, before building that big thing, obviously, you know, Remix Media is not only about, for, it doesn't end here. It has a long way to when I have a, very big vision about it. Okay. So, but then this thing, me doing social media marketing photography, I'm still gonna do it, yes. But then this is, this is, this is the, uh, I can see that this is me starting small. So, yes, you have to start, just find something, just find a way that in, in which you can start. And you shouldn't blame anyone because you, you, you are not doing anything. Don't blame the government, don't mm. blame SIDA, don't blame YGF. Mm. Blame yourself. You are, the result that you get, you are the one who is responsible for them. Mm. Whatever that you plant, you are going to reap. So that is the two most important lessons that I can talk about. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. Um, talk to me about Remaps Media, mm. and including Tiamoko, um, where, where, where you see them in the next three years, mm. two, three years, at least mm. in the short-term vision. Where do you see these, and um, how far do you see them growing? Oh, okay. So Tiamoko, is, I see it as an international organization. Mm. Because basically what you do, we are taking you want the youth to discover themselves, to know who they are. Mm. We want, we don't want, you know, want um, we, uh, a different kind of youth, you know, youth who are motivated, youth who believe, believe in themselves, mm. and youth who who never, you know, allow them, allow anyone to put them down. Mm. So that, that's what we want to see. So an improvement in the lives of the youth, starting here in Botswana and going to other parts of Africa and across the world. That is how I see the mm. Amoko. And also Remaps Media, I see it as the best media company here in Botswana. We want to be, you know, we want to have um, a, a bigger media space. We want to, mm. to improve the media services here in Botswana because mm. what we see is that what is being produced right now in Botswana is of, you know, mediocre Actually, quality. Actually, want to touch on that and yeah. you talk about what you see that's lacking in the space right now. Yeah, mm. yeah. so well, what is being produced right now, we even know about the movies that are being produced in Botswana. Mm. Just media related services, what is being produced, just mediocre. So you want to bring in, you know, more equipment, more things that can really improve, things that are related to media, filming and filming and editing. So de define mediocre for me. What do, you, what, do you, what do you mean by that? Of course, I understand the word itself, but in the in the real numbers uh, or the real uh, <laughs> tangibility of it, uh, uh, what do you think can be added to them oh, or okay. removed or I, whatever? I, I, <laughs> What I mean, I'm, I'm talking about them being average. Okay. They, they, they yeah, like, I understand them. I understand the word in its, in its essence, but I mean the tangibility of it, the, the details about it. The do, you, do you feel a about about how you see them being produced? Oh, okay. or a, a. Yeah. Or maybe one idea that you could add that would say, um, you, if maybe one or two of them could try thinking about it like this mm. or do it like this. Mm. Uh, it would it would improve. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay. A movie that is produced in South Africa. It's a movie. That, okay, let me let me speak about the states. A movie that is being produced right now. Let's say, for example, um, which movie are we waiting for? The movie I, that I don't watch movies. Honestly, <laughs> I don't watch movies. Oh, okay. Man. Let, um, let me just say, you are yeah. waiting for Frozen Two. Frozen yeah, Two. Yeah, yeah. Though it has been already new. So Dubai. Yeah, Dubai. Yeah, Dubai. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> we are always looking forward to, to movies that are being yeah. produced mm. from the states. Mm. So why can't you have that that that, 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 that thing here? Right, right. Why can't you produce a movie and people are waiting for it internationally? Mm. And mm. it's a movie that can be played everywhere in the world, in the states, and everywhere else. Mm. So that is how I that is how I want to make a turnaround of things here in Botswana. Mm. Yes. Okay. So <clears throat> I want us to to take a different route now. 
um, you've been in business for some time. Mm. You understand uh, a bit of what's going on, mm. right? Although this is an ever, um, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a genuine ever growing on. Yeah. So what are your your non-negotiables in business? Oh, okay. So that for me, you know, most of the time I, when I come to someone with a, with a proposal, I propose something to them. I always make sure that I sit down with them and explain thoroughly, like what I want to achieve with, with what is, like what I'm proposing to them. So if, if I see that I'm proposing something to you, I always try to find that, that passion in you about what I'm proposing to you. Mm. So I explain to you the vision clearly that, but this is what I want to do. I want us to achieve this thing in this, you know, period of time. Mm. So I find that you are not passionate. You, you just want to do that thing because I, I can discern that you are impressed passionate about this and you can do this and we can really go a very long way about it. So if I find that, okay, Mpam is speaking to me about this and he doesn't have, you know, any, any, any vision whatsoever about it. Mm. That is where I cut my relationship with, my, with people. Okay, so yes. someone who does not have vision, yes. uh, who does not maintain the same vision as the you, same someone who does mind. not have passion. Yes. All right. Yeah. Um, so, so today, if let me just give an example. If you didn't have Raymaps or Tiamuko, what would you do? Just, 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 just off the blue, off the top of your head, what, what, who would you be today if you didn't have Raymaps and Tiamuko? <laughs> what would you go into? What would you? Uh, what else would I do? Hmm. Maybe now, maybe I'll be, uh, what, maybe a football player, mm. but uh, I don't think so now. Are, are you good? Are you good at <laughs> I, I, I only have <laughs> stories from five, six years ago that were good, uh, but um, not really now. Not really now. Okay, but for you, what would it be? Okay, now, the top, like, I just believe I will just be living a normal life, you know, of me going to school, graduating. Mm. Maybe maybe a doctor, a nurse or somewhere there. Maybe a doctor. Yeah, maybe a doctor. <laughs> because that is, what, that is what I've been told that... Like, you know, most of the time when you go to school, we have been told by our parents that mm. you have to study something that is health related because after that you're going to get a job from the government right. immediately after finishing. Maybe I could have maybe fallen into that trap and not follow my passion and, mm-hmm. and purpose. Yeah. All right. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Before I ask my last question, um, where can these people find you and connect with your work? Oh, okay. So I'm located in Minmo. I'm located in Minmo. My office is just in Minmo. You can... Contact me on seven four one two one five seven one, and I'll give you directions. It's a, it's a big building. It's a, my office is a bit at the top, so it's best if you talk to me. And also on Facebook, my page is Remaps Media. I also have another page, Remaps Photography. LinkedIn, Remaps Media. Instagram, Remaps Media. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Uh, now, my, for my last question, what is, um, how do you want Offense Raymond Matbena to be remembered? Yeah. Mm. How do you want to be remembered? Um, you know, maybe when you're no longer there. Mm-hmm. What, do, what, what? How do you want to be remembered as 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 an individual? Mm-hmm. Okay, the the, the legacy that I want to leave. I want you know, I want people, I want people to to to, to remember me as someone who who have made an impact in their lives, most especially when it comes to personal development and entrepreneurship. So like, I want. Like there has to be after dying, there has to be people who can point out that, you know, before before meeting Raymond, my life was like this. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know. I didn't have a vision about my life. I didn't. I wasn't motivated about life. I didn't. Maybe I, there was a point that I wanted to commit suicide, asking myself what is life really about. But after meeting Raymond, there was a change in my life. This is now what I have because of the content that he shared with me. You understand? About yes. Mm-hmm. About, all about purpose, all about you know making an impact on us on people, seeing them being happy, being fulfilled because they've discovered who they are. Beautiful. Man. Yeah. Thanks for coming, my man. Yeah, thank you beautiful, so much for being beautiful, beautiful, beautiful yeah. man. Such an insightful conversation from you. Um, that is it for this week's episode, ladies and gentlemen. We are here with Raymond Mapena. Please dive into his world. Um, his offices are located in Main Mall, as he just said. And we'll be back again next week with another Power Pack episode. Be great. Shadow,